Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru in North Thailand in the Shambles Cottage audio studio. <laughs> okay, it's my desk really. And uh, um, I'm, we're going to share a bit of a journey here because I haven't actually tested this out. So if it goes badly wrong, um, we're, we're going to share that together. I'll look at this, I've covered my feet up here. Let me move that down a bit. Um, I want to look at this webinar platform, Illuminate, which I've been using for some time now, maybe a couple of years. And the versions have gone up, and the main version at the moment is version 10. But there is a version 11 out, and that's what I want to look at. Except what I think has happened, but please, if, if I'm making a mistake, then let me know, because uh, uh, leave notes in the comments underneath the video, wherever you see this. But Illuminate has been bought by Blackboard and they're going to call the uh, platform Blackboard Collaborate. So here's version 10, just going up to version 11, which I haven't seen being used publicly yet. Uh, but I have a feeling these will disappear completely and it will end up as uh, Blackboard Collaborate. The uh, Illuminate guys must feel, be feeling really good now, I bet they made lots of money. Um, my contact details is normal down here, including now my Google Plus address. So if you go to this address here, um, you'll get to my Google Plus account. Okay, so let's have a look at Blackboard Collaborate or Illuminate V11. Now, I'm going to go to a browser. Here we go. And my starting point is going to be Learn Central. Now, if you, ha if you don't know anything about Learn Central, um, it's basically a social network. And in fact, it's quite a big one. It's a social network designed for educators. Uh, and let me have a look here down the bottom. And you can see 85,000 users, 5,000 resources, 11,000 events. And it, it, it's a, so it's a social network. It's for sharing between the teachers. And uh, But it was actually funded initially, I believe, by Illuminate. So really, it was initially a marketing tool for Illuminate, but actually it's gone much, it's taken on a life of its own. It is a, a, a thriving social network. Um, but it's a good social network to join if you want to get into webinars uh, and get some practice. And let me show you what I mean. Is when you become a member and you sign up for Learn Central, let me go to my profile. When you sign up for uh, Learn Central, I'm repeating myself now, so uh, the connection must be a bit slow. So here we are. When, this is my profile. And uh, if I go down here, you'll see... I'm not going to go through all of this stuff up here. You can come and play yourself. The address is up there, www.learncentral.org. Um, you get this, which actually gives you uh, a webinar room for free. Now, really, it's only a, a, a second try type of environment because they only allow three people to be in here. But that's good. You can have one person who's a moderator who has privileges that the students wouldn't have. And you can take turns doing that. So you can get some really good hands-on um, experience using the Illuminate or the Blackboard Collaborate. It's a mouthful, that, isn't it? The Blackboard Collaborate, uh, the BC version. So let's uh, go into the room. Let's see what happens. If I just click on here, so we're going to go into the free one. Now, what it's doing is it's downloaded a bit of software down the bottom here. I'm going to. I'm using Windows 7, but it works on all platforms. So I've saved it, and you can see uh, it saved something there called JNLP, which I think is Java. I click on there and open it. So say I'm using Windows 7. But Apple and other Windows versions, I suspect, will work just as well. And uh, Java is loading. It might take a little bit longer if you're doing it for the very first time because it does download uh, a, a bit of software. That's a good sign. Blackboard Collaborate version 11. And here we go. Now, it didn't ask me for a name. If you were logging on as a student, it would actually ask you for a name, and I think because it's the uh, because it's a, a window, a room. Let's call it a room because it says Chris's room up here. Because I'm lo I'm logging on, I'm actually logging on 
as uh, the administrator, the moderator. And so it didn't ask me for my name. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, well, my first impressions is um, it's a bit more curvy and cleaner than the uh, last, the, the, the version 10 of Illuminate. Um, the danger, of course, is we, we all ha uh, hate change. Uh, and the initial response is to go, oh, yuck. And I guess in, uh, until you actually run a class in here, you won't know where the pluses and minuses are. Um, I notice so audio is up here. It used to be down the bottom here. So I can adjust my microphone here. I can adjust the volume of anything I'm listening to here. Uh, I can turn on the microphone, clicking that. I can turn on the webcam by clicking that on. It's a pity there aren't more people here. Um, if there were then I think I can do things like, oh, that's interesting. We've got a lot more little things you can put next to your name. <laughs> I like, that's a confusion one. I love it. So I can put a confusion sign there. So if you've got students in the room, they can choose confused, approval, slower, oh, even asking you to speak faster or speak slower. Um, so the icons that can go next to the students' names or next to your name as a moderator uh, is, is good. What have we got here? Step away from the session. So that will say I've stepped away from a session. Let me click that off. Put my hand up if you wanted uh, the moderator. If you're a student, you want the moderator to see you. And this is respond to a poll. No or none or yes. That, that These used to be down the bottom here. And it may be that this default layout can be changed anyway. This is the, uh, I guess this is where the whiteboard is. And let's just see if it works. Click on here. Ah, nothing there. Why isn't that working? Hmm. Doesn't look like... Uh, hmm, why is the whiteboard not working? Oh, this looks like a whiteboard. What happens if I click on there? Is this whiteboard working now? It didn't do much. What do we do here? Hmm, this is not doing much either. What should we be doing? Oh, what is the colour palette? Oh, maybe. Let's keep on... It's interesting. Ah, 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 we're getting some... Oh, there we go. So you need to keep your pointer on here for a few, little bit of a little bit of time. Let's see if this is working. Yeah, it's working. Hello world. Yeah, you can tell I'm a really good artist. Okay, so you can do that. Is this text and really does it. Ah, you can choose your text here. Oh, this is rather nice. Once you realise that you have to, and so I can type on here. Ah, see, that's quite good. So I guess this is going to be a circle if you want to or a square or whatever it was. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, so much for that. The black line. Let's make it a really thick black line. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. Alright, what else does it do? I'm guessing that takes a, a, a screen capture of the whole page if we wanted to do that. What have we got here? Clip art and uh, uh, we could have a map of the world there and ask people to choose things. That's quite nice. Graph paper. That's quite nice too. What have we got here? Oh, little pointers so that uh, we can point to things. I suppose if we, if we put, if we placed one here and I went back to this up here, I'm guessing oh, it's gone. Okay. Clip art. So that seems fairly straightforward. And if we had several slides, then it's like the old version and you can just choose the other slides that you've got if you've uploaded them. Actually, let me see if I can upload slides. I wonder how you do that. Let's see. There used to be a little uh, folder here you click on and you could upload your PowerPoint or JPEGs. But I'm guessing it's up here. This seems quite intuitive. Oh, it is. Oh, it does. So let me see if I've got something. I did something on QR codes recently. QR code visuals. What can I upload? I can upload all files. Oh, it just says all files. So let me... What happens if I choose uh, half a dozen of these? Play, import images as individual pages. That seems uh, sensible. Oh, there they are. Very nice. Let me close that. And are they here? And here they are. Oh, very easy. Size needs playing with, I guess, but uh, that's that, that's great. That was easy. What else is there up here? Let's have a, a quick look because I don't want to go too long on this. It's 10 minutes already. Um, let's see if I go to the 
public page. This is where we did all that scribbling. Um, chat, or well, chat still works the same. Let's just check that. Hello world. And there it is, the chat's there. Uh, I want to try and find out how, if you can do a different layout to this, but let's just have a quick look what's along here at the top. New quiz whiteboard, save the participants list, edits, preferences, I'm going to look at those, view the whiteboard, application sharing. So if I want to share an application like a web browser with the students across the internet, I click on there. And actually I noticed when I roll my pointer over it now, this is application sharing and this is web tour which uh, enables people to, to follow something you're doing in their own browser. Um, but they can click, whereas with a, an application sharing, if you're sharing a browser, then people can't click it, they can just view what you're saying. So as, an, as a moderator, as a presenter, you have more control. People can't go whizzing off on their own, which I guess they can do anyway. Uh, tools, um, so application web tour. Oh. oh, we've got some different, oh, these might even be different layouts. I'm not going to click on them now, you could try this yourself. Oh, here's application sharing, audio, Oh, look at this. Now, one of my big regrets with uh, Blackboard Collaborate, which Adobe uh, does with their platform, is it's possible for you to go to breakout rooms. Now, with with this one, with Illuminate, and, or Blackboard Collaborate as it is now, it used to be that if you wanted people to go to another room, you have to actually close everything and start from the very beginning, that little download at the very beginning. Now, if this is real, really means that you can create breakout rooms and and actually send people to them, that's a big plus, which isn't in version 10 of Illuminate, or that I'm aware of anyway. And that could that's a biggie. Uh, that, then it, that, that on its own, if that does what it, I think it does, is worthwhile. Graphing calculator, uh, in session invite, polling, profile recorder, record the sessions, put a clock up there, session plan, don't know what that means, video, whiteboard, which is here, and uh, windows, activity, all the different things you can see. What was the other big one there? It's preferences. Uh, that looks very similar uh, to the preferences bef that there was before. And in fact, uh, one of the things that really annoys me is when new people came into the room, uh, a little window will pop up, uh, and somewhere here that can be uh, switched off, and I can't see where it is immediately. Notification, audible notifications, visual notifications here. Uh, you can switch switch that off here. <laughs> that's one I that's one I always uh, always annoyed me, and uh, that might be enough I think just to, for this sort of initial tour around. So this is this is optimistic. Um, I suspect people won't like the change, but I have to say I actually think it uh, it could be good. I haven't missed anything. Have a look round here. Load the content. We've done that. Uh, we have Blackboard's logo there. Not uh, illuminate anymore. Uh, if I click on these, I can probably scroll through my power points. They don't fit the screen. I must look at that. How to make that a hundred percent. Actually, before we do, let me just look at this. And if it all falls apart, then uh, uh, <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming. Application sharing. What do I? Ah, I can so uh, it's altering the layout there. I'm going to cancel that. I don't want that. I don't want to do this. Oh, it's asking me what I want to share. Uh, let me go back to whiteboard. I wonder if these are movable. Ah, this is the okay. This is a big difference. Is this is highly customizable, real Web 2.0 style. Oh, okay, and that that's probably a good place to stop. Let me get back to uh, my uh, browser and uh, let me stop on a picture you may recognise. Hope you enjoy that. Um, I'm optimistic about it. Looks good but we'll see when we work with a group of students. Uh, off to Learn Central and try it yourself. Have fun.